Either place, yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, I'm Stephen Finucane, and I work on Nova for Red Hat. So I previously worked uh, at Intel, and during most of my time working on Nova, I've been focused on the same kind of feature set, which is uh, what Intel likes to call EPA, uh, Enhanced Platform Awareness, or um, like NFE applications. So making Nova smarter from the perspective of telco applications. You have all this amazing hardware, how do you expose that up and take full advantage of that when you're running virtualized applications? So, the Ocala cycle was a bit of an odd one for me, and probably for the project itself, it was really short. So, the normal cycle runs for about six months, and this one ran for maybe four months. About four, yeah. About four months. So, uh, during the Ocala cycle, I actually went, uh, got core status, uh, and that was probably as a result of doing a uh, a lot of reviews, a lot of reviews, pretty much every week an hour I had when I was doing reviews. And that was made possible by the fact that I didn't actually get any specs in for that cycle. So my work on, on Nova during that cycle was mostly around um, reviewing Python 3 fixes. It's still very much a community goal to get a support in Python 3, 3 5 in this case. Uh, also a lot of work around improving how we do configuration, making it so that administrators can actually understand what different knobs and dials that Nova exposes, what they actually mean and what the implications of changing them or enabling them actually are. So that's something, they're both things that have been going on since before the Okada cycle and we made really good progress during the Okada cycle to kind of continue to get ourselves like in some cases 70-80% of the way there and in the case of the config options it's the work is essentially done at this point. Outside of that, the community as a whole, most of what went on this cycle was again continuations of work that's been going on in the last couple of cycles. So a lot of focus on the maturity of Nova, improving not so much new features but uh, improving how we actually did existing features. So uh, a lot of work on resource providers, which are a way that we can keep track of um, the various resources that Nova's aware of, be they storage or CPUs or anything like that. Um, and of course like the, the cleanup task that I was talking about. Coming forward, as far as pipe goes, is still very much up in the air. Uh, that's what we're here this week discussing. Uh, there would be from my perspective, uh, a lot of the features I want to see is, again, doubling down on the NFE functionality that Nova supports. So making things like uh, SRIOV, uh, making that easier to use and more performance if where possible. There's also going to be some work around resource providers again for this SRIOV NFE uh, features and resources that we have. The other stuff that the community is looking at, um, yeah, again, pretty much up in the air. Uh, the idea of uh, exposing capabilities is something that I imagine we've had a lot of discussion about already this week and we'll probably have a lot more. And then, um, again, general evolution of, of the Nova code base, what's, what more features the community wants uh, and various customers want. Go and provide in those like how I expect in the actual code. So yeah, it's promising to be a very this cycle anyway is promising to be a very, very exciting cycle on account of the fact that we're back into the full six month mode. Um, there's a couple of new cores on board and um, Nova itself is full steam ahead.